want to love what you do, do what you love, you know, but it starts with love sort of thing. You know, that's all we're here for. This was probably the last time that we worked together as a class as we put on a talent showcase right up there on the second floor of that building. It's so nice to get people together, listening to music and having fun. I think music is like the one language we all speak fluently. Music is like, I feel like the human soul. I think that music is essential for humanity to be able to be human. Personally, I get a lot of energy from live shows. We were on that quarantine as a spring break the, of the following semester with other plans, but couldn't follow through with the same kinds of things as we really wanted to from the live side of things. Getting to see the different talent that Chico has to offer is, it's amazing. It really is amazing. And it kind of goes to show you how much people are hungry to be a part of something that they're passionate about. Yeah, I love Chico Unplugged. You know, like any of the singer-songwriter events and the songwriting contests, they're always worth it because they sort of show and they demonstrate a lot of creativity that we have all around us. I would say that the Chico music scene is very, very important to me. I spent a lot of my time in my first year, couple of years here at Chico State attending live music events, house shows, jam sessions, a lot of stuff like that. That is one thing that really formed my appreciation and love for the community. There's nothing like live music. Chico music scene is, is the lifeblood. And it's that lifeblood, that, that sort of pulse of music that's in our community that really keeps it vibrant and that keeps it moving forward. The pandemic, I guess, made it pretty hard, actually, because it's, we a lot of what we do is uh, social communication and like going to events and meeting people. Before I was a music industry major, I made it a point to go to uh, Chico Unplugged and listen to singer-songwriters. I used to go to a lot of live shows as a kid. Uh, my dad is a deadhead. Like, that's been my whole life. The whole world got rocked last March, a year ago. And it was our spring break when we had just gone to spring break and then found out that we couldn't come back and deliver on the same kinds of courses and experiences and the concerts and things. And as a music department, there was a lot of dismay. What are we going to do and how do we deliver on the, the promises that we've made and the experiences we want to give? And, be the best teachers we can be. Music doesn't stay alive because music is alive in, its, in and of itself. Music is alive because people value it and keep it alive. You know, I have to say, I've got to give a lot of respect to my students in Soda Productions this year. We could not put on the same kinds of events we had once put on, and that's one of the beautiful things about being in Chico with a community that shows up and supports what we try and, and experiment with and create the experiences we can. But without the live elements, and even the ability to get together to be able to make recordings together and, and videos together um, without safety concerns that we weren't able to do. Um, I'm really proud of them because we had to move fully into a digital space. So we scout, market, and promote uh, the different talents that we find here in Chico. It's basically an on-campus uh, production team that works with local artists, guiding them through the marketing process, particularly of people who are students, and helps them promote their works. Basically, it's a great laboratory for students that are interested in working in the music industry. Everything you do in Soda Productions is real time. You're working with real people, real artists, and real situations. A&R, PR, campaigning for artists, working with artists, and more than anything, learning and getting real industry experience you know when people ask me what soda is i say it's like a grassroots you know record label where we're kind of shooting from the hip we're out here doing it we're in the field sort of thing and you know dr young has done he's done a great job with all of this i run the music industry program here at chico state and one of our featured courses is soda productions which is a year-long hands-on experiential learning opportunity so it's beyond the lectures and now try and see what we can create together it's definitely been challenging. I mean, distance does not help, but it's, I mean, we make it work. I mean, they're very, you gotta, you know, you gotta learn to be flexible and, you know, work around each other's schedule. So there's a lot of waiting and there's a lot of um, back and forth, like trying to schedule times. You cannot just actually go to that person physically and then just grab them and just like, hey, do this stuff. 
you have to just keep texting them and then hope hope them will reply your messages something like that so, so like that's kind of hard welcome to surviving in the music business things change let's adapt let's go together and i had nobody quit Everyone got into the direction of saying, we're going to find artists that are going to make digital releases, and we're going to talk about their communication styles and connecting with people. We are becoming self-starters ever more so now, instead of relying on having to go into class or having to, you know, go to work. We're doing everything ourselves. It's the weird balance and relationship between what's out of your hands and stop being lazy, you know? I, because of COVID, I've driven myself to step up to the plate more and kind of take charge of my own situation. It's, uh, it's something that I kind of needed to incentivize myself with and uh, learn how to keep track of my own time because I like to create art. And as an artist, you want to work with other artists. I do better work when I have people around me who are supporting me and, and encouraging me to, to improve myself and improve my own work. The whole idea of finding and establishing a brand and how to directly translate that brand into marketing ideas, that was new to me. This has been an eye-opening experience because I'm learning how to manage, how to market, how to do all these things just behind a computer. And it's also, it's, it's kind of hard to manage someone that you've never really met in person and you haven't actually experienced the music live. I've realized just how much you're able to do just by doing something. If there's one constant about our businesses that it changes. Right now we have some 15 different directions that we're going with the class and it's wonderful. Sometimes it's chaotic, but at the same time, they're learning by doing. So there's students in groups of twos and threes that are taking care of artist management and they're doing record releases and they're doing things so that have live streams. Other ones that are putting on documentary videos and they're working with other musicians from the department or they're working with the community and they're trying to find ways to connect with people and learn about relationships. This isn't exactly how I imagined my graduating year at CSU Chico would turn out, but working on digital content creation uh, recording and editing footage and sound for this video and music featured in this video. It's been a great way to stay focused and keep my mind off global pandemic. Especially when so many other things just aren't an option right now that would normally be an outlet for me. I think of Soda Productions and Recording Arts really as just two arms of the same body. We're ultimately trying to get to the same goal and that's work in music, have a life in music and how they do that, whether it's on the technical side of production or on the business side of making those events and records happen. We share the same common goal. This turn of events has allowed me to look in myself and realize my own value. And it's allowed me to find ways to create my own opportunities. You know, I'd never really experimented with it or played around with it, but being able to have some of that videographer experience was really cool and fun to learn about, honestly. This is my first time producing a documentary series or working on a documentary series with students and collaborators. I never really wanted to be a filmmaker. <laughs> it kind of really showcases the kind of the grit of Chica. We're not just working hard for the sake of working hard. You know, we're working hard because we care about each other and we care about the music department. It really helps me to keep in touch with the things I like. I would say that in the past year, Working on the soda project as a whole has been time consuming for sure, but fruitful, most definitely. Uh, at times it's been very stressful. A lot of us are struggling in different ways with work, you know, with our own school schedules. So it's, it's hard because you gotta kind of bite your tongue a little bit and go with the flow. I'm overworked right now. I got four other classes. My boss is on my ass about, you know, this, that, and a third. It's been very difficult. It's hard to get up in the morning because I just know that I'm gonna, right there, right across my, my room from my bed is my desk where all the hell happens. Folks, you know, have been working in their own family situation and that's not always ideal, right, in, in their own homes. I mean, let's be clear. If you say you're going to major in music, it can definitely raise eyebrows in some families. And with COVID, making that kind of path even harder, just doubling down on the kind of commitment that it takes and the pressure to.
it's that that whole pressure makes diamond concept people don't really realize it until you're actually going through it and you realize the diamond that you become and i love the process that i'm going through I, I can't put it in any other sense. The passion that I have for creating my own music, the passion that has been created in me by listening to my favorite artists, the process that I see that all these other artists go through to make it to the platform that they've made it to. What I want is a platform to be able to spread the message that I want to spread because I feel like the message that I want to spread is a life-giving one. We're trying to keep music alive, but we should focus on how music is keeping us alive. My birth is in Frisbee. <laughs> You're tossing it. Got it. How long did you say you had until six? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God you're editing this. <laughs> you know, start and finish with love, and then you'll be good. <laughs>